Welcome back for some more Ab Essentials. Today let's talk about your butt, your buns, your base, whatever they're calling it today. Your glutes. Your glutes are an essential part of your core. They're the largest muscle group in your body and I've already explained some of the benefits about, of working your glutes for your overall functional uh, and fitness health. So let's get into some, um, well to the meat of things. Let's do a few functional exercises that will help not only strengthen your glutes but support your overall function and melt some of that stuff off of the belly. So we're going to line our back and you can put your feet on the floor. You can use a stability ball like I am or you can use a chair or anything you like. Again, you can just put your feet flat on the floor and that's fine. So arms at your sides. I always recommend if you don't need to hold on to the floor or grip the floor, turn your palms over so that your chest is open. Okay, at all times, you want to try and keep the chest open for postural reasons. We spend a lot of time in what, what's called forward flexion, this position. So let's try and correct that and open up. So you're going to put the feet either on the floor, ball, chair, bench, anything. And this is, again, not rocket science, just basic 101 bridges. And you're going to lift up. But maybe if you just kind of think of it like this, squeezing the glutes and you get to that top and then relaxing and dropping down, almost that you're going to hit the floor, and then squeeze and down. So you'll feel in your hamstrings a bit as well, but really try and squeeze the glutes, actively squeeze those glutes, consciously squeeze those glutes. Now some of you go into advanced positions and do things like that, but that's actually going to take you a little bit more into your hamstrings. So I recommend just keeping it basic if you're going to do this exercise because we really do want to focus more on the glutes for the purposes of the core. So you can do 10, 15, 20, 30, however many you want of these. And then we're going to flip over onto our knees and our forearms. And I always recommend, especially if you've got sensitive knees, to be on a cushiony so, uh, mat or pillow or something. You can keep your upper body up here if you like, wrists and shoulders aligned. But I always recommend coming down, your alignment is better, and you're off your wrists. So rather than doing just the straight Jane Fronda um, glute press, which is, or single leg donkey press, which is incredibly effective, we're going to just cross it over the other leg and press up here. And the full range of motion is going to do you the greatest amount of good for our purposes. So you want to go full range of motion for now. So let's say we do 10 of these, 9, 10, and then we're going to pulse at the top. So choose your number of reps, and maybe it's doing 10 and then 10 pulses, and then maybe you want to go to 10 more of these. So we would say we do 10, and then we do 10 pulses, and then we'll do the other leg. That's how I would recommend getting the most bang for your buck, is doing a set of, let's say 10, okay, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then pulse. What I like to do is add pulsing at the end. It kind of I call it locking it in. So you're already feeling that burn right there, and then you just kind of lock it in in that one spot, and then you go down and go through that range of motion again and force. Now you've recruited more muscle fibers, so now they're all working together, pushing that leg up, and then now they're pressing it. Oh, ah, ooh, ah. You know, you get that feeling of ouchie and down. The next one you're going to do is you're going to lift the leg out to the side here, and you're going to go about, I don't know, medial height here, and just lift and pulse it right here. Never really going below that midline, just going up slightly. Okay? I'm just going to keep going right there. And you can do this standing too if you want to be off your knee. It's absolutely no problem there. And I don't want to be uneven and I'm going to turn and kind of do this facing you. And you notice that I go down on this elbow and up on this hand for leverage. It just helps me keep my, I watch my legs, make sure it's not going too low, you know, that kind of thing. And my abdominals are engaged to support this, but the, the glutes are the main focus here. You want to burn that big muscle to get rid of the other stuff and bring it down. And a good stretch would be just pushing back into your hips or dropping side to side here. Okay, that's another um, really good one. And then you want to get on 
Oh, and your feet here. And we're going to sit back. I'm going to turn to the side for a second because I just want to demonstrate how far back in the squat I am. I'm back here. I'm not dropping my butt down here. Okay? I'm keeping it back here. And we're going to do a little bit of a booty bounce here. And you're just going to lift and lower, really pushing your butt out. So if you're holding on to something, you can hold on to a chair in front of you, or you can reach your arms out so that you're in the right position. And you just want to do this little movement right here. Now you might feel it more here if you're stronger in your quads, which is not uncommon. But eventually, you just want to think, push it back into the butt, push it back into the butt. Now one more exercise that I recommend is similar to the one we did on the floor. And you want to be kind of flat. This ball is a little small or a little short for me. Um, I just don't know if you can see me if I come over here to this chair. I'll try and sit back. But you want to be flat so that your head is down here and you lift your leg out to the side as high as you can. And then you stay up. Immediately I feel in, in my butt. And we're just going to bounce it right here. And then the other side. And then one more is you're going to come down here. You're going to push all of your weight into your heel. So it's going to move. Hopefully you can see me here. Push all your weight into your heel so that the toe could come up, but the heel does not come up. And you're going to push down and tap that foot in and out. So this leg is just moving. It's not really doing much for um, your glute, but it's the supporting leg. You're going to feel in your glute and probably your hamstring here. And you can do a few there, and then you can do a few here. So those are some movements that will definitely work your butt. And we need, the, we need to work the glutes in order to get that essential ab, um, you know, full, complete workout. And hopefully I explained it well in uh, the blog post. But if you have further questions or comments, please leave them for me and I will respond to you and help you. Okay, next time I will see you and we will work another part of your essential abs.